All right, boys. As you can see, I moved the blower over just a little bit, and then I put the gas can holder up high, so it's right here, and it's even more out of the way of the mowers, and uh, it's great. And I want to move this this way a little bit anyway, because with it right here at the edge, it was still getting beat by the sun and rain and stuff like that. So I felt like, hey, let's move it, you know, move it this way just a little. Yeah, yeah. Here's my setup for today. Got. 30 inch up there yeah Alright boys, this yard, the, the last kit clip you just seen in the backyard and this out by the road, um, this is like a once a month cut. This is like another house that my church rents, so I, I have part of the deal with the church is I go over there once a month and just kind of get it knocked down, and the skag handles it no problem.
right, boys. Here's the finished product. It's all blown, edged. Uh, you see, it's looking good. A little dry, but um, it's crazy because uh, I can't tell whether um, if it's just because it's been so dry. Look, my edges look nice. I can't tell if it's because it's been so dry or that leaves are just starting. Um, but either way, there's a lot of leaves on the ground. And uh, it's crazy. A bunch. Like, this yard was almost covered in leaves. And as you can see, there's already a couple back on it that are still falling right now. And um, a lot of pine straw, too. So, it's like, yeah, the... <laughs> Some of the grass is kind of drying out of some of the yards, but where the grass is dried out, those properties, I'm actually, you know, got to clean a lot of leaves off and stuff too. So it's good. We keep on moving. See, here's up here, front. You know, shrubs at the tree. Uh, whatever this vine is, it grows shoots, a bunch of shoots. So I trim that every time I come uh, just just to knock off the shoots because their shoots grow up like crazy see my other shrubs look pretty good there's the old ram let's look up here all this was just covered in leaves up through here so you know I have all the, all this gravel all this stuff so I got all that cleaned off shower right here looking good dry but uh, this is St. Augustine in the back and in the front. And I cut it at three and three quarters. He likes it really high. And usually it's very well irrigated. I don't know why it's dry right now, but yeah. So, oh, and the other thing at this yard, man, I was over there by where I showed you over by that vine. Sorry, set the floor down. And there's this big old big old bug it's happened to me a couple weeks ago too at a couple yards this big old bug like the size of a pack of gum comes down just like whacks me when i'm on the mower and it freaks me out um it's something to it, it it never happens except for only when i'm mowing i don't know if it like sees that mower the liberty z oh it probably would happen on either one of my mowers i don't know but crazy i don't know what it is i don't know if it's like a cicada some kind of bug Big old green bug of flies, you know. Huge. I mean huge. Like fat too. Like it's like a hummingbird just comes down and hits you. And uh man. It'll freak me out. But uh yeah. I don't know what it is. Y'all let me know if y'all know what it is. Oh. I'm gonna leave that blower right there on the ground so I can talk to you guys because the mower's strapped down so it won't it won't hit it. We're gonna go on to the next yard. Man. Yeah, but uh, lots been going on. We uh, we got uh, we sold the the Nissan. Got my wife a Tahoe, and that's cool. So we have a backup and everything, and we we paid cash for it and all that. So I'll show you guys that here soon. But uh, yeah, that's the after of this property. It's looking as good as it can look today. Let's keep moving.